We in Paris. Feels like we were just here a month ago, but. Already know I got Cinematic, bro. It's crazy. Damn, these buildings never get. Yo, give us an update. What's going on right now? What's going on is we just got to Paris and it's really cold. That's what's going on. It's freezing. And but we're layered. We're layered. You oh, see the shit. jacket? Flex on him. You see the jacket? We're layered. We really got a little color, you know. Yo, this little, this camera is actually insane. It's it's crazy. This cinematic is insane. I'm saying you don't need much to vlog, man. Just the knife on. Yo, if anyone, that cost fifteen hundred dollars. Yeah. If anyone Great. anyone wants to buy my you know Sony camera, that's it. <laughs> it's for sale. It's for sale. At a very good price. We ended up at Le Creux. Don't mind my French pronunciation, but saw this, like, tried on this Elena Dawson blazer, and, like, the moment I put it on, I was like, fuck. Had to end up getting it, but um, I was, like, really contemplating it because I just got a new yeah. blazer for my birthday. So I was like, oh, do I want to buy another blazer that I just balled out on, too? So. And it was red, so it was kind of hard to, you know. But the red actually looked really nice, so I was kind of surprised that I was down for to have a little bit of color in my wardrobe for once. Um, oh, one true. of our friends or colleague, Sandrine, brought us to this place called Motors Coffee. They do like experimental coffee. Yeah. So it's like infused with different she things, which is pretty cool. Oh, that's true. Yeah. And then uh, this was outside where the Y3 pop-up is, where mm -hmm. we were mainly Somebody working at, in a nice area, uh, close to Dover Street Market. This is like the space that you can see the photo exhibition with Dido right here. Sorry for some of the clips are in vertical just because like we we're shooting different content. Some clips are from Greg and he was shooting a lot of TikTok stuff. So like, yeah, some clips are going to be a vertical. But I try, I tried to film with the horizontal stuff, but you can see there's a lot of show pieces. The photography was amazing. The editorial. Um, it was, it is going to be in the March display of another magazine soon i think on the 24th is when it releases but yeah it's super cool um we we're at this like market by close to our where we were working and there's just so many different nice food spots we kept going to this japanese joint but i always forget but what'd you get the fried chicken that the fried chicken the with some rice i got the teriyaki mac curl i think the, the sauce fish. looks good Yo, it smells so good i'm about to Crazy. dig in i'm gonna be like voice overing some parts because some clips i do end up talking but a lot of it's just b-roll clips essentially so just to explain what's going on the food was amazing um japanese food in paris is really good and i mean there's so many japanese people there for which is a nice surprise and yeah Ended up going to a showroom uh, Thursday morning, right before I had to go work. But um, met up with Atelier and Skrr. Uh, super nice people. Um, they connected with Che through Instagram when Che was a wanted to purchase one of their shoes. And ever since, we just kept a connect uh, like communication going on. And then here is just us like trying on a bunch of pieces and Greg's kind of talk about it. <laughs> yeah, what pieces do we have? So we have a couple pants. I actually like these ones. Intricate. Yeah. Yeah. Nice this, double this layer. Called, yeah, the double double pant. No, the other one is actually. The other this one is like is the, the modern tracksuit. Yeah, modern tracksuit. And um, I don't know from which, because what they did is they used the... Uh, Yoji's uh, old collection to be inspired to yeah. recreate this from a, a sportswear um, vision. Mm -hmm. So these are the other pens. Yeah, is this, this is a uh, spring 2017. Spring 2017 from Yoji Yamamoto, and yeah, I like the crop. Yeah, cool crop. Uh, then we have these ones. This is kind of. This is from 2014, I think. 2014. A lot of like nylon and polyester too. Yep. Uh, Repurposed nylon. Yeah. And this this place is nice actually. This place is quite nice. It's got like little details. Like you have the if you cuff it. Is this the one that has the? No, that's the, oh, the woman's one. The, one. the men's so one does. Okay. Yeah. 
I don't know what that, that one is. Is it this one? No, no, it's... No, this is the, the drape one. Oh, I think uh, one of them used it. Yeah. For the... And then we have this one with the long sleeves. Yeah, the cinch is really nice on yeah. this. The arms, very slim arms, which is nice. And then, here, let me record your, your one. There you go. Reflective trench coat. It actually fits really well on this. I know. Yeah. Looks like something I want. I know. This could be your um, thumbnail. Your your um. Yeah, your thumbnail. True. <laughs> I need. I need a And then the second day, I ended up going to the same spot because the food was so good. Why you have a YouTube? Yeah, that's Milka. She's an associate personal stylist at our. Yeah, for the Toronto team. And then just a bunch of B-roll content that like Greg was shooting and the TikTok and all that stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Third, third Honestly, we didn't really get to walk around too much. Like we had, we we decided to fly in a day early so we get a day to kind of just like rest up, adjust to the jet lag and everything. And then the Wednesday, Thursday, Friday was pretty much just like working. Oh, and, and then Saturday, we had a bit of time during the day to explore. I ended up going back to the creux, to try on the blazer one more time to make sure I really wanted it and then I didn't end up pulling the trigger. Uh, honestly, such a nice blazer. I can't wait to like show Both a case of more. Idea. Again, some That's more like TikTok. For <laughs> too long. Stuff. And then this was the actual event night. Like this, you could see the space is a little bit different. They flew in um, the izakaya people from japan for the event so yeah a lot of money was being thrown in this event as you can see um just a quick cut through um i'm back in montreal now uh, unfortunately the clip kind of just ends right there i wasn't able to really film during the event um just because i was talking to clients talking to different people and stuff so i didn't really have time to to film the whole thing but it was a great event, great turnout. There was a lot, a lot of people there, a lot of industry people, a lot of clients. Um, yeah, honestly, great turnout. A lot, there was a lineup outside. Um, a lot of people ended up showing up. The izakaya food was amazing. Um, I wish I had clips to show, but honestly, it was a great experience. I got to meet a lot of clients that I never met that are based in Europe. So that was a great experience as well. I'm meeting a lot of people from like different magazines, different parts of the industry. It was a cool, cool experience for sure. And it, it's a great thing that like now we're able to like travel more with work um, and with Essence, obviously. So that that was a great experience for sure. And yeah, overall, had a great time, super tired, kind of just in and out there just for work. Didn't really get to go to any shows or anything because we had to be at the pop up event the whole time, but no complaints. It was a great trip, and just like not having to see snow, um, and like it was honestly like a late fall winter uh, weather, probably like nine degrees there, you know, versus in Canada if you look outside. Oh, look at that! Depressing, but yeah, Yoji, stop it. <laughs> But yeah, um, honestly, yeah, that kind of concludes the vlog. Um, I guess I'll see you guys in the next video.